What makes it worse? <laughs> Do tell, what makes it worse? Because I don't see how it gets much worse than that. Oh my. That's terrible. That's terrible. That That's inhuman. I'm good. I, I'm I'm good. I don't I don't need that in my life. Let's see. How much time do I got? Ah, uh, I got through that. You know what? Let's I wasn't going to do this. I was going to save this for tomorrow, but you know what? Let's do a tails run. Should be nice and easy and I'll get killed by that guy. We're off to a good start already. Let's go. Pro gamer moment. Forget like how short this game is compared to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Not that, that necessarily makes it a worse game. It's just Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like that's a Especially if I'm playing a Sonic, that is a three-hour dedication. Oh, I... I mean, at the, the rate that I play it. Some people, I'm sure, are faster. But... Much faster. People who actually speedrun it, but, you know, I take my sweet old time, I look at everything, I get... I get hit by every enemy on the way, you know. The full, the full Sonic experience. Oh, I need this. I'm trying to think, where did I find that? Oh, it's up here. Let's do it. Yeah, he did not get a super form in this game. I don't know if they changed it in this version of it, though, because I don't think he got one right away in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but they let me go super with him when I got the normal emeralds, which really caught me off guard. But that's okay. Tails doesn't need super form. He's super as is. They didn't? Okay. Well, it is what it is. Like I said before, I'm not really even big on uh, the super form anyway. Just because of how hard it is to control. You don't get to listen to the cool level music. I mean, if the game had, like, cruddy music, I'd be, I'd be like, yeah, okay, sure, we'll, we'll listen to this for, like, constant. But... I like these tunes. Dude. Yeah, I don't know. None of these levels are going to seem hard compared to that that eight emerald thing I tried. Holy cow. That thing's evil. Whoever designed that, they hated the world, I feel like. Okay, I Come on. Monkey see? Monkey die. Let's get this fifty. I need fifty. And we're gonna go over here. Oh, you know what? Another bonus level I like. It was, uh, uh 
Z, you ever play the Sonic Advance games? Or like the Game Boy Advance? So I actually didn't mind the airboarding one they had in that game. I thought that was pretty fun. part of this game that feels like a grind at all is just getting these emeralds, but then you're done pretty much right at the start of the game. Alright, we got one more of these guys to... Come on. You know, we're just gonna fly over you. How about that? This one's Tails themed. It just kind of blends in with it. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but the the coloring of some of these, it makes it pop out more and it just, I don't know. It plays with my eyes. It does... It's like the red and white one, uh, the Get the Blue Spheres in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I hate doing that one. Because I'm like half blind the whole time. gotten more there, but... Whoop. Jump through the ring of bombs! Boom! I think... I'm trying to remember, too. I think Sonic Colors had an okay one also, if I remember right, but it's... I thought Colors had one. I don't know. There was... Maybe I'm thinking of Heroes. I guess I don't mind most of them, I just don't like the UFO ones. Ooh. Well, there's another one! Dude, so many rings. No, don't you do that. That's mean. I'm trying to think if there's... I think that goes to the end of the level. Aw, oh, shoot! No! I just screwed myself up. Well, I could... I could get the rest, I think, in the next... I was thinking there's another one. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. That might have been it. It doesn't matter. We can get them. Okay. No. Bad coconut. I feel like you could ramp off of that and go up here. I think there's a... 
Isn't there something up here? Yeah, it's over there. I knew I wasn't going particularly crazy. This is kind of Tails themed too in a way. Got it, but should have had those. No, it is over here. I always want to go with the bend because that's usually where the rings are. And that's not what you want to do there. Alright, we got 130. We just need 20 more? How hard could it be? As long as you don't touch bombs, that's like half the challenge there. If you touch bombs, you're done. Your goose is cooked. There's the pink emerald. So we need three more of these guys. get the one up. I don't need it, but yeah. And we're gonna grab this one. This music gets like stuck in your head. Barely got those. Ugh. Grab them. Boom. We got an emerald. See, I'm doing so much better this time around. So much better. Just had to get warmed up, you know? to shoot me. That's not very nice. Right, I gotta go down, I do believe. Well. Uh, maybe not quite this far down. Nope, I was right. That was the right call.
Gotta get these done. Got that. Sweet. I think I only missed two rings there. Because I think it's supposed to be 100 in that first part. So I am slaying it. Alright, round and round we go. Boom. Give me that emerald. Come on. Come on. Not yet. No! I touched bombs. That was very bad. It's okay. We can... Oops. Nope. Can still do this. Yep. Yes. Got it. There goes the green emerald. Just need one more, and there's quite a few places we can get it. Yeah, Mr. Coconut, you wanna, yeah. You know, I don't even feel like messing with him. To be entirely honest. If he touches me, my life gets a lot harder. Oops! It's kind of... Went right off of that thing. Alright. Eh, we'll go for this one. In my opinion, it's a little risky, but... You've got all these coconuts here, and then bam. And there's still at least one more signpost. It's actually right below where I'm at. Let's get this last emerald and then book it through the game. I'm gonna try to go quick. Honestly, it's not too hard to do with Tails because he just flies over everything. Alright. I've definitely got my groove now. And had a couple spills there that first playthrough with Sonic and Tails, but now pfft, I'm good to go. I'm solid. I can knock these out all night. Unless I do something, you know, particularly stupid. Um, should be pretty solid. Yeah, I've already got the amount of rings. I wish it just, like, let you go. Okay, you know what? I win. I got them all. Just leave me alone. But you gotta get through the... You gotta get through the bombs! No! Don't kill me! They're like, you need no rings. Look at that, 245. <laughs> We're going hard, folks. We're going hard.
So, yep, no super form for poor old Tails. To actually watch me fight some of these legit. Well, I guess really this is the only guy I really cheesed, but. Do, 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 do. There we go. I didn't want him to show up and shoot that drill at me. Tails' is balancing animation. I love it. Those are so funny. You can just kind of... Yeah, you like, I like that background. You just see that, that ocean there. There's obviously an island in the back. Maybe that's the island you were in in Sonic 1. I don't know. A lot of islands, apparently. You know what? Actually, what I want to do. <laughs> ah! There's a wall there, never mind. I wanted to be fast and I made myself slower. that was gonna touch me. I like collecting all these rings. I don't even need them. Can't go super. Just more points. They don't even matter. Points don't matter. It's like whose line is it anyway? Alright. Used to like that show back in the day. I didn't like the reboot. It just wasn't the same. Just wasn't the same. Go oh, get that a hundred. Why? Because we can. Beautiful. I like this music, and again, look at that background. You got kind of like this city thing here, but you've got the chemical plant. Like, you just know everybody there is going to have cancer in like 10 years. You know, they're all going to be dead. There's going to be a mass lawsuit. It's going to be, it's going to get real. Such a fun zone to play through. It's definitely one of the favorite ones. As far as the Sonic fans go. Wait a moment. I don't need that, but I'm gonna grab it because why not? I'm gonna lose them all anyway. Nope, this isn't a spot. What? I was on top of you, bud. All right, well. You, you taught me, bud. You taught me. We're just gonna fly over that, because we don't have to, oop. We don't have to care about any of that craziness. I missed it. <laughs> Hopefully Z didn't see that one. That was a pretty bad fail. Wait, that's where you come up at. I gotta go this way now. Oh yeah, if you're Tails, you can really just skip large portions of levels. It's great. Hopefully you don't do what I did there, because that's not great. I love his tail, too, like, when he jumps. Like, his tail doesn't spin around or anything. It's just, like, stationary. I don't know how that works. You might want to get that checked out by a doctor. Or veterinarian. Whatever, whatever, uh, he may need there. Let's look at this background. 
It's just like, that's all chemical stuff. That's, that's, that just looks bad. People are gonna die from that, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, yes, this level. Admittedly, I don't like it at all. I just don't. Not even gonna pretend that I like this level, the zone. Just don't. There's nothing appealing about it to me. But we're Tails, so that's okay. This could be a terrible one. Cause I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip everything that I can. Oh no, no! Ah, oh, I couldn't get down fast enough. Look at that! Under a minute! You could probably do it in 30 if you know what you're doing. Those arrows are just gonna follow me till the end. The bitter end. I'm glad this kicked in after I got hit. So helpful. Shake my head, man. I just shake my head. And then there's this thing here. And there's all these guys. They're just kind of hidden. Come on. I gotta be, like, through this level. Too bad I can't actually skip the boss. Oh, shoot. Hey, I can just do this. Like, listen here, I'm Tails. I don't play by your rules. We always let him fly away. It's like Tails could have chased him. It's like, oh, we destroyed that. You can go leave, get your next thing to try to kill us with. You know. They can never catch Robotnik. Even on foot, he's faster than them, apparently. Makes no sense. At all. Oh no. I fell down further than I wanted to. Hey! That worked out pretty well. It was like I knew what I was doing or something. Last time I got squished there. This level is a nightmare, I feel like, for, for uh, speedrunners. Because there's so much that can go wrong and ruin your speedrun that it's just insane. You can get caught up on the stupidest stuff ever. Like, it's gotta be frustrating for them. Come on. No. Ow! Uh oh. What? I mean, there you go. <laughs> That's definitely things not going. Hey! Wait a moment. Hey, let me do a little bit of. No! You jerk! He got me, folks. He got me. I'm gonna go take this route. And boom. Yeah, we're gonna fly through this guy. Or if I can beat this within an hour. I mean, like, the rest of the game. Not in total. I feel like we're on track. Oh, I missed it. This is what we got Hilltop after this. 
Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna risk dying here. But yeah, no joke, the enhanced versions of the game, you have a much higher chance of getting squished to death by things. I haven't actually played the classic versions, I should. Eh, let's go down here, why not? Let's explore a little bit. And I don't mean that to complain, I mean that more as, you know, a warning for anybody who, uh, you know, does pick up this game and play it. You're gonna get squished by all kinds of things. If you're not playing Classic. Well, I don't know, maybe Classic's like that too. The way they did it, but I doubt it. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Those little bumper things, man. They're just there to troll you. Yeah, we're gonna go down. I'm gonna spring myself forward. I think this is where I need to go down. Yeah. Yep. So I can't go super and cheese Mr. Roboto. I mean, you can actually kind of time that right and just stay up there and keep hitting them. But I messed it up because I'm bad. Aw, oh, come on. Or you could do this little game here where you get killed by him. Fun little boss. Fun little boss. I like it. Again, you got that awesome background there. You got the starry sky and all the lights. I don't know. I'd like... Like, if that was an actual place, I'd want to go see it. Is what I feel like. Like, I want to see that and get some pictures. Then we got good old hilltop zone. Let's grab this box around me up here. And then there's another one. Again, I'm just trying to get out of here as fast as I possibly can. Let's go up. Oh. You know, I'm not messing with that. Like how you're just drilling through the ground like that. Absolutely ridiculous. Get tails. Ooh, don't stab me. That's not cool. Yeah, I just... I, I realized what I did. I realized what I did. I did it last time, too. There's invulnerability stars up there I could have grabbed and not lose my shield, but it really doesn't matter, because we're pretty much at the end of the level. And the rings don't matter. Got through that, a minute 37. I may not beat any world records, but that's definitely uh, up there for me. Going up. How high can we get here? We can get, we can get up here pretty high, but 
Oh, you know what? I wonder. Oh no, I bet I activated something I didn't want to. We got our invulnerability stars. Let's go through here. This is gonna be super easy. We're tails. We just skip everything because we don't have to care about it. Look at that. He just breaks this game so hard. And I love it. I just jumped all the way down, but I like riding those a little bit. Alright, am I going to pull off what I was hoping to? I think I did. Yes, I just skipped the boss. Boom. I'm gonna take a quick break and be back for some Metropolis Zone. Or, uh, excuse me, Mystic Cave Zone. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, being the genius that I clearly am, I forgot to unmute my mic. And so, what I think I'm going to do is <clears throat> actually just kind of watch my own recording here and comment on it so of course here we are mystic cave zone and i love this music it is banging one of my favorite tracks if not absolute favorite track in this game and of course you know i always like looking at the backgrounds it's not as much going on here but it still looks kind of cool you definitely get the feeling that you're <clears throat> in a cave, and there's maybe multiple uh, levels to the cave. Kind of crazy looking, to be entirely honest. <clears throat> Gotta watch out for those stupid fireflies, I hate those. And grab this thing. Alright, but... Yeah, I just, I dig this music. I don't really plan on going to Hidden Palace Zone here in the second act. And really, I just want to get through the remainder of this game at this point. You know, this is the second run through, and I'm trying to see if I can clock both, both runs within the, uh, three hour mark. Now, of course, I went down there to get that shield to prevent myself from losing my rings and it, you know, pretty much just messed that entirely up there. But here we go. We got out of the level. On to act two. Alright, so, I know some new people I've watched, they don't know about grabbing onto the vines or those little blue, I don't even know what you'd call them, handles? Like this one? I watched a guy struggle with that for quite a while one time, and I decided to help him out, <clears throat> let him know what he needed to do there. Yeah, you know, some things, you know, it's kind of funny what what hangs you up in a game, right? Some things are more intuitive to some people than others, you know? Like, I was one of those people that had trouble with the barrel in Carnival Night Zone. But I figured out all this other stuff, you know? And some people figured out the barrel, but, you know, they couldn't figure out the vines. So, I, I don't know. It is what it is. 
but <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take the high path here just so I don't have to worry about <clears throat> doing Hidden Palace Zone. Hidden Palace Zone is cool. I like the music for it and everything. And I don't even really mind the boss. But the level itself, I just... I just don't like the way it's laid out. So we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go fight Robotnik here. And I'm probably gonna lose my rings. Oh! I already lost my shield. You know what? Heck with it. Let's just see if we can get him here. Oops. Oh man. And then bam, he's down. Just like that, we're done with Mystic Cave Zone. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Now what's funny is I forgot to unmute my mic, but I kept checking to make sure that I didn't accidentally uh, turn on voice mod <laughs> to make my voice sound weird. Because I was hitting some buttons and I thought maybe I, I hit the wrong thing. Fortunately, I didn't do that. By the way, you know, gotta admit, that's a pretty sweet background. So, <clears throat> friend of mine showed me a way to kind of get through the level, speed run it, and so I wanted to try some of that out. And definitely got through some, some stuff there. I don't necessarily hate oil ocean but I've never really liked it much it's kind of it's kind of in between or for me you know but usually when I'm here I know hey the we're getting close to the end but it also means that metropolis zone is coming up which I don't particularly care for so I decided I'll try taking the uh, the path underneath here, you know, and I, I ended up dying. I died here a couple of times, actually. Just did not, uh, didn't really go the way that I wanted it to. And I probably did something wrong, but it is what it is. You know, no speedrunner. I usually just take my time, but I wanted to try something different, you know? And so that's what I ended up trying there. So here we go, I tried that and boom. Good, that's what I get for trying to do something different. At this point, I decide, oh, the heck, that I'm just going to play normally. Because I don't really want the stream to go on for a long time and keep dying. You know, because I... Yeah, sometimes, sure, I'll, I'll do things like abuse iframes and stuff. But generally speaking, I do try not to die. And I do try to keep my rings and everything. For the most part, you know. Got some invincibility stars here. I really like these things. I don't know what they're called, but it's kind of cool that they just kind of shoot you all over the map. I don't know. I just like it. I think they're cool. Ooh. I hate those things. They don't normally give me trouble, but every once in a while they get a shot on me, and that one, that was kind of dirty there. These must be the strongest fans in the world. They hold back Sonic and Tails, you know? Like, what the heck? And there we go. Act 1 is down. Good 
Good stuff. So, Oil Ocean Zone 2. I'm going to skip the boss just to save a little bit of time. The boss isn't too hard, and if you want to see me fight it, I did do it legit as Knuckles. If I do another playthrough of the game, which I might do tomorrow, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I might do another one as Knuckles, we'll see. <coughs> Gotta love uh, Tails' is Tails. Just kill everything. You know, Tails doesn't get a super form in this game, but, you know, he really doesn't need it. He's just, he's so good. Just how he is. And honestly, again, you know, I like listening to the, the music for the levels in this game. And I like having more control over my character, and I just don't get to do either of those things uh, when I'm running around Supersonic. It just is what it is. A lot of times, too, when I play this, I try to take different paths. Usually when I play these games, I take the same path, but for these videos I've been trying to do things a little bit differently. Not that it always ends up that way, but I really do try to take different paths so I can better show off the level a lot of times and kind of give people a reason to watch another playthrough, you know? Because there's usually at least two or three paths through a map. So at that point, I was like, ah, I'm just going to go in there. It brought me back to kind of where I started. So I just took the elevator up. You know, I don't know... I mean, I know the level, but I don't know it super well, right? I don't have it mapped out in my head. And of course, I shouldn't have jumped there. But, you know... <clears throat> But since I got hit, I might as well go grab that shield just so I have it. The boss is coming up. And then I'll show you the boss skip. Right. So I like to find where it kind of goes up a little bit more, which is right there. Now I'm going to jump and fly as high as I can get. When Tails gets to the top and starts losing steam, I'm going to go hard left, because this is mirrored mode, and then boom, I just bypass that boss. Again, the boss isn't hard. You can cheese him real easy by just kind of jumping under the platform and everything, but <laughs> at that point, might as well skip him, right? And you can skip him with every character. You can play Sonic and Tails and use Tails to pick you up and carry you. Uh, you can also <clears throat> do it with Knuckles because you get an option with of uh, Knuckles with Tails. Which I've attempted to do another playthrough with, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I hate these crabs. Honestly, I just, I hate this zone in general. It's just not fun. You've got these, these dang starfish. Just, they suck. Everything, everything about Metropolis sucks. I don't even, not to say that the music's terrible, but this is not one of my favorite tracks either. And then you've got just the way this level is kind of set up, the way the enemies are placed. I mean, they're really, really trying to screw with you. And of course, you get three zones. Apparently there was supposed to be another zone before the next one, but it got cut and they just took the layout of this one and put it on the one they're making. Yeah, this is a very screwy level. No pun intended. Um, but if you're not careful, it'll definitely drive you nuts. 
I always have to make a pun with this level. Always have to. Alright. Yeah, be careful when you get off not to fly in the wrong direction. Stab yourself there with the spikes. Oh, and of course there's a crab waiting for you. I like those little things. Kinda move through the level there. Alright. Another exploding starfish. Of course, I just happened to catch that spike there because poor positioning on my part. But we're about halfway through the level. Got hit by that stupid mantis. Yeah, if you think about it right, those praying mantis enemies, they're just. It's a really poor <clears throat> robot design, right? Because they can only attack once and that's it. They're just kind of like standing there, left to uh, regret the le rest of their life decisions, right? <laughs> but. <clears throat> There's Act 1, now for good old Act 2. Of course, they give us lava and stuff, which is wonderful. And of course, there's a crab there, too. <clears throat> there's another mantis. I dodged him. It seems like the thing to do is if you can, run at them and jump over them and keep going. Righty tidy lefty loosey. And of course those platforms you can't go through, you have to land on top of them. Why those are so special, I don't know. Grab these invincibility stars. More exploding starfish because everybody loves those. Obviously, right? I think that's the other thing. Because there's three zones, it, yeah, or feel, excuse me, three acts to the Metropolis zone, it makes it all feel longer. Like I said, it's just kind of a grind. I know there's bigger and better things ahead for me, but. You know, you get a slug through this one. Of course, that thing, you know, what are those blades? I mean, it just throws those and they fly around, do a big old loop and hit me. So annoying. I mean, that's worse than a boomerang. Practically heat seeking blades there, you know? Because they do follow you around. I'm going to get hit by that. Because I'm good. Pro gamer moment, you know. Grab the shield, get hit by the star, lose it. No, you're not hitting me that time. At least I don't have to worry about keeping my rings to go super, since Tails can't go super. So, <laughs> it works out. But there's Act 2 done. So now we just need to do Act 3, beat the boss, and we've got a few more levels. Can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's bright. Oh, there's a crab. I hate these. Just gonna fly over them and go into that thing. This level's a lot less annoying as Tails because you just you have more options for getting around. And a lot of times flying is more convenient, especially with those starfish. 
If you can fly, you have an easier time positioning yourself to dodge them. Until, you know, but then you do that and you lose your rings. I mean, realistically, this zone is just one big middle finger. I absolutely hate it. I don't even like the background of it too much, you know, and I'm always looking at the background and pointing out how great they are. Not to say that this isn't good, it's just, you know, it doesn't do anything for me. Well, <clears throat> I get stabbed by the, uh, the spikes there. See, I'm used to that being on the right, and because this is mirrored, it's not on the right, and of course those hit me. And so, jeez! You know, it, uh... It kind of messes with my memory there, because I'm, I'm expecting that part to be somewhere else. Essentially. But you want to take that... kind of already moving at a decent speed. So that you don't get hit by the spikes, because if you do bounce straight up on it, you're gonna... you're gonna nail yourself. Well, we're almost through this level. We're getting there. Again, we're gonna fly over the angry crab. I'm gonna get hit by those because they suck. Kind of looks like a face in the background there. You see, like the two lights that are the same color flashing, and then you have that other one. It looks like a mouth. And actually, right above it, that other thing can kind of look like a face too, right? You've got the eyes, and maybe like the cheeks are blinking. And then that graded area is a mouth. You can spin dash on those screws, or the bolts rather, and you'll get a little bit of distance, but of course, your spin dash is gonna stop being effective after a while. So it's not really a great way to do it. You're better off just running. And of course when you try to jump off you're gonna get stuck. We'll not worry about taking that bridge over and just kinda fly at him. Oh, here we go. Good old Robotnik and his, I don't know, baby bots or balloons. I don't know what those are supposed to be to be honest. But yeah, keep this ring. <laughs> If I, if I lose that ring, I'm pretty SOL the way I'm, I do this boss, because I just take advantage of the iframes. If you're looking for me to be patient on this guy, nah. I mean, there is a way to, to fight him patiently, don't get me wrong. If you let him sit for a while, he'll swing those ball things around and you can kind of hit him from underneath, but I just don't care. And of course, I hit him from underneath, right as I took out the other, like, mini version of him. Because if you don't do that, then he goes flying to one side of the screen, and then he starts, like, shooting lasers. Ah, it's just... Just not worth it, you know? But finally, we're through Act 3. No more Metropolis Zone. On to Sky Chase Zone. So, this level, I really like. It's, it's just, it's different, right? Um, <clears throat> not that it doesn't have its problems, but, but it's kind of nice. I like this music. It's kind of relaxing. And, you know, you got like clouds and stuff. It's, you know, kind of peaceful ish, besides the enemies shooting stuff at you. And so you go and you play Metropolis Zone, you get all ticked off, get all worked up, and then you come here and they just kind of relax you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's how I see it anyway. And also, once I'm here, I know Winged Fortress is coming up. You know, when I was younger, I didn't like the Winged Fortress zone very much. I hated that map. But now that, you know, I've gotten experienced at the level and everything, I don't mind it as much. I know some shortcuts. And I'm going to try to take one of those here once we get there, but... Gonna get past this. 
you know, it's kind of messed up if you think about it, right? So, we're in the air. How high up in the air do you think we are? Oh, well, there's the level I gotta go on later. But, yeah, so we're super high up in the air. And every time we defeat one of these robots, one of those animals pops out of it, right? So, like, unless the animal can fly, we're essentially just killing them. Because we're dropping them to their death. Somewhere, you know, really far down below. So, you know, who's, who's the real monster there, right? Is it Robotnik for imprisoning the animals, and, you know, in the robots to use their life force to power them up? Or is it us for just kind of turning them into, you know, a blood puddle on the ground? If there's even anything left by the time they get there, you know? It's kind of crazy. If you think about it. <clears throat> so, Sonic's gonna get shot down here. We'll press F in your memory. So here we go, Winged Fortress. Pretty easy, I didn't want to get hit by that. Oh, come on. I hate that thing. I'm just gonna fly. Go up here, grab this barrier. <clears throat> Didn't mean to... Shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. And I just lost it there. I'm gonna get shot by that thing, because I'm really good at the game. I am gonna show you something here, though. I'll show you what not to do first. <clears throat> when you play as Tails. So if you just try to fly there, there is a section where Tails kind of gets blown in the wind there. And you'll catch that section and then you'll just die because you'll lose control of Tails and you won't fly anymore. So what you want to do is stay low enough that uh, you don't do that. And if you get up there and you jump, you're going to come up here. You don't have to go through that whole bottom part that's, you know, kind of annoying. Alright. So you jump on these. You got to get on these platforms here. Now you could, you know, fly just ever so slightly above them. You know, you just have to be careful not to go too high. I don't like getting moved by that thing and there's another one that shoots you back the other way. Which is kind of annoying. Grab the hook. Again, you know, rings don't really matter to me. Tails can't go super, so... I just want to get through this. I actually have to fight this more or less legit, but it's still going to be easy with Tails because of his flying. The fact that his tails do damage. And you'll see here, we'll make short work of this boss. Got four hits in. And then of course that stupid spike platform nailed me. And then we just get our last four in, boom. Now on the other side here, there's a one-up in the classic version. Uh, in the remade version, it's just one of those retry star things. So here's the part of the game. Hey, look, it's Sonic. And he fixed the plane. I didn't really know he was that good at uh, building things. You know, I thought that was supposed to be Tails' thing, but apparently Sonic fixed the plane on his own. So anyway, this is the part of the game where, uh, yeah, we get to pretend to be Star Fox, I guess. <laughs> We're in space in a spaceship, or I guess on one, and we're Fox. So yeah, Star Fox. And of course, you know, apparently Tails can breathe in space. All these guys can breathe in space. Alright. So this first one's really easy if you do it right. There we go. You want to get three hits on him, and then just roll. And he'll run right into you, 
and finish himself off. Now, I could do this a quicker and flashier way, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie, folks, we're getting to the three hour mark. I'm getting tired. I think I just wanna take this one easy. So, kind of like I did before, we're gonna do this the safe route. We'll defeat the, the Egg Gundam. So when it lands, jump up and hit it. If I remember right, I think with the Knuckles, you pretty much have to take advantage of that. You can also spin dash in front of where he's going to land, because the stomach part that you hit will actually come down far enough for you to hit it. But of course, you can also attack it from behind if you get the jump just right. So, I mean, the fight could be a few minutes or it could be like, you know, a minute. If you watch Z fight this guy, he'll kill it pretty quickly. But then again, you know, I've also watched him get dumpstered several times too, right? And then, uh, Ends up taking more time to beat it than me, who takes it, you know, slow and steady, alright? The whole tur tortoise in the hair thing. But, yeah, I'm no good at any of that speedrunning stuff. I'll, I'll leave that to uh, others who like to do that. I just want to show you the best way to do this, that way. Well, easiest way. Perhaps not necessarily the best. Uh, that way, if you get to this point in the game and you're like me and just wanting to wrap this bad boy up, you can do that. So, as long as you make him land far over on the left, you don't really have anything to worry about here. He can't hit you with his arms, and even when he walks, he's not going to walk far enough to get to you. It really just kind of makes this whole fight very stupid easy. I remember watching a guy streaming this game. He was struggling real hard, getting, you know, a little bit frustrated. I'm like, hey, dude, like, you want me to tell you the trick? Yeah, at first I asked him, you know, like, you want me to tell you the trick for the boss? He's like, yeah, I'll wait and figure it out. And then, you know, he tried, and he kind of came close. To his credit, he kind of came close. Um... But, you know, I asked him again after a while, I'm like, okay, do you want to know the trick now? He's like, yeah, sure, tell me. And I told him, he's like, dude, that's so easy. <laughs> like, it's just dumb how easy it is. But, you know, that's how these things are. Anyway, we beat the Egg Gundam. And, uh, yeah. We got two game completions, 100% under our belts tonight. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Very happy about it. And he used Tails. You know, Tails can fly, and yet he's just kind of like free falling, more or less, right? It's like, why don't you fly, Tails? You don't have to just fall like this. But then he's gonna get caught, you know, by the plane. Now, keep in mind, right? Yeah, he's got his arms out, and that'll slow him down a bit, but. Yeah, you know, he's gonna reach pretty ridiculous velocity, right? And then he's just gonna land on the plane and be fine. Like, no, he's gonna he's gonna die and he's gonna like destroy the crap out of that plane. So there's the surviving animals uh, that we rescued. So most of them probably died because they can't fly. And uh, we're just not gonna worry about it. Apparently, we just we just don't care. Because, you know, Tails is just like, yeah, we beat Robotnik. I don't think he should jump off the plane like that, but, you know. 
It is what it is. But anyway, now we get to listen to the credits roll here and kind of take a deep breath knowing that uh, finally, well, we did two. I was I was going to split this up into two different uh, streams, but I thought, yeah, I'll go for three hours after I got through the, the first one because I knew Tails wouldn't take as long. And I was right. So, yeah, good stuff. I'm very happy with how that worked out at the end of the day. I really am. But, yeah. Anyway, if you made it this far through the video, awesome. Leave me a comment. If you like what I'm doing, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, something. And hey, if you don't like it, well, feel free to share that. You think I suck at this game really horribly and I should just give up on it? Uh, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> but anyway, again, thanks everyone. Uh, I might do another Sonic 2 run as Knuckles. I haven't decided yet. Otherwise, I'm probably going to do some Sonic 1 and then kind of wrap up Origins. I tend to not really care much for CD. So I don't think I'm going to be playing that. And, I don't know. At some point here, I want to move on to Sonic Mania. Maybe do a little bit of gameplay of that. It's alright. I don't... You know, everyone's going to feel differently about it. I don't think that, for the most part, it is as good as Sonic 2 or 3. But it's pretty good. You know, if anything deserved to be called a Sonic 4, you know, by any means, that would be it. Uh, not the Sonic the Portable, which they then tried to sell as Sonic 4, and it was an absolute joke. Um, if you don't know about that, yeah, Sonic, Sonic 4 is just, just terrible. I think there's only like one or two people from Sonic Team that actually was involved with those games, and they're bad. I have them. I beat them. I played them. If they were if they were called something else, it probably wouldn't be as bad. But you know. Anyway, take care. Have a good night. This is Agent Ice signing off.